one. Hello, geeks and gamers. And welcome back to Choose My Own Adventure, in which my wife, Mrs. Geeky, chooses my own adventure through the Dark Souls, uh, Bloodborne, Soulsborne video games. Um, in the last episode, we made our way through uh, Moonlight, nope. no, Dark, Dark Root Garden, Garden. <clears throat> um, and took on the butterfly, uh, which, you know, as always, um, we, didn't, we didn't use the summoning of the Witch Beatrice, so the fight did take a little while. Then after that, we made our way down here um, into the, uh, the not the depths yet, this is basically the basement. <laughs> um, and we're going to make our way to uh, taking on the boss, uh, which I'm very much so looking forward to seeing my wife's reaction of. But, I don't know what to think about that. <laughs> in order to progress, we need to backtrack. Bloody things like yep. But in order to progress, we need to backtrack. Hello. That sounds You sound kind of productive. <laughs> it feels like that kind of productive. Why do you say that? I don't know. It just got a feeling. Fortunately, uh, this meat cleaver woman does not respond. Wait, she comes back? No, she doesn't. She doesn't respond. Oh, respawn. I thought you said respond. <laughs> she like, doesn't. What? I'm like, hey, and she's like, she didn't say anything. <laughs> she just stares at me and then walks off. Like a bitch. Don't know why there's dogs down here, but. Oh, I thought those were all you have to. Not yet. I mean, <clears throat> However, this one, she's she's all fresh and ready. So how do we know that she's not the she he's referring to? I mean, it's possible. But he did thank her. Thank you for killing her. So. Yeah. Or was he thanking you for letting him go? Might have been a little both, but I really think they're sisters. <laughs> Fuck that table. <laughs> You're in my way. Move. Is that like a frozen blood icicle thing? I'm gonna go with yes. Ooh, ooh, the jukes. And again. Big beefy bitch has got some moves. Ow. And that's someone else said it's a bigger sword. Yes. Excuse me. You okay. Oh, oh god. Fall on you. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Dog gets in the way. Can you get out of here? Oh. Yes. This is what it's for. Yeah. Come here, Bertha. Ooh. Ow. Alright. Ooh, she gave me her sack. Um. It's <laughs> exactly how it sounds. This also alludes to, uh, I believe, her gender. Bloodstained patchwork sack of the undead man eating cook lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly cut out. It's unexpected, soft, and comfortable to wear, but it's probably a near meaningless in terms of defense. So, no, it doesn't. Yeah, so I, th I thought there was something else that did allude to their gender, but they are aware. Because it doesn't matter. So, say what I think treasure? No, I thought I was going to say something about soup. Because in Dark Souls 3, there's Estus soup that you come across every now and again. So, no. You can look at the chain. That is a very important item. Yeah. Well, important now, or might be important later? No. Like, well, yes. I mean, it is important later. Because I, I, I have to go give it to... Right, now it's in the key items. Ember required for weapon ascension. A large, high-quality ember hand handled by the blacksmiths of Astora. So it allows me to take our now plus 5 Uchi and upgrade it to plus 10. But I have to go mm -hmm. all the way back and give it to Andre. Oh, but this is the actual path of progression also. Oh, oh and I've been invaded. 
And my face blamed on this pile of very flat bones. So much good, um, like, hmm. so much good graphics, and then that pile of bones just <laughs> looks like a piece of fabric that uh, was printed with bones. Again, lady, this is a remaster of a game that came out almost ten years ago now. I don't... Oh! Hello. You found me! Oh, buddy! It just... Hey! I'm up here, man! Oh no, that's an R.U.S. You coming? You can't get back up here, dude. You're just gonna try to wait for me. You're gonna be a bitch. He's oh, he's got the wood grain ring! Look at you with your flippy flips! That means... If you already have that wood grain ring... That means, I mean, not necessarily. He could be, he could be a twink. He could have just gone to an area that he wasn't supposed to yet. Um, also, could mean that he is a higher, high level coming to a lower level place to prey on lower level people. Um, I don't necessarily mind invaders, but I dislike invaders that do shit like that. Uh, like pick on somebody your own size. Whatever. We're just gonna go down here. He's probably gonna come and kill me because. What the fuck did he even? Do? Away. They have to choose to. Um, there is a. So that's the key that without the master key, whatever. Okay. Come on, buddy. I'm gonna leave it. Hey. <clears throat> I think you forgot how to get in here the normal way. Because <laughs> you can come from up top, but this is the actual, like. Like, you're supposed to come from up top. No, not necessarily supposed to. It's better to come up top, because then you can get a plunge on the rat. Oh shit, there's an item on that other side. Fuck. We're gonna have to redo that to get that item. Well, I don't know, I did mention in like, the first episode that I wouldn't be going out of my way to get items, so we probably won't. It's not important. Important items, yes. But, like I had said with, um, had we not had the- dude, are you coming? Had we not had the master key, um... I think he's stuck. I think he's trying to figure out how to get back in. He forgot how to get over here. <laughs> um... You know what? I'm just gonna go open up the shortcut. Dude. See you later. Never mind. I fucked it. I fucked it. Now I have no idea where he is. We're probably just gonna eventually run into each other. What the fuck is that? Oh good, they die in one hit. Um, so these guys are the bane of people's existence. So, if you remember after the last boss fight, or not the last boss fight, but after we beat the Guardians, there was Oswald who was just sitting there with his, you know, come at me bro pose. Uh -huh. Um, and... I purchased something from them called a purging stone. And I said this might be a surprise tool that can help us later. This would be the area that that surprise tool would be coming in handy. Because are these like, large, sandy up sludge things actually people? Ah, uh, yes. Um, sort of. Um. So, no. These frog things do something called curse. They breathe that little mist. If you stand there for too long, your curse meter builds up, you get cursed, you die instantly, and in this game, it takes half of your health. Um, and you cannot, unless you use one of those items, or go to a certain person in the game, you cannot get rid of it. Um, so you pretty much just have half, half, half health. Um... And that sucks. The very first time I played this game, I of course had no idea what these things were, got cursed, and had to go through a pretty sizable portion of the game. Are you alerted when he leaves? Yes. Oh. It'll tell me. Um, that he, uh, somewhere. Yes. What is that thing down there? Is that another person? Yes, so that is... Um... I want to say this is just a humanity, but let's go see. Um, yeah. That is what happens if you get cursed. <clears throat> so that is somebody in another playthrough, like on their own playthrough, that got cursed. And I'm just seeing it in my world. Mm 
Fortunately, they are dying in one hit. That does make it a little bit easier. I'm just waiting for him, though, to just, like, pop down on me. There is no way whenever you're an invader, because I feel like you were probably going to get around asking that, there is no way when you're an invader to know precisely where the people that you are invading are. <clears throat> so that rings. So how um, do they know to invade? Uh, because you use a certain item in a in a certain space, and if there's somebody to invade in that world, in that area, you'll invade them. Um, it's like <laughs> he's like, no, my friends. <laughs> um, it's like, yeah, this was an actual person that got cursed. They're already dead. <laughs> um. Oh, that one died begging for his life. That's sad. A bit. But yeah, there's no way to actually know where they gone. I was actually surprised that he did find me so quickly, um, initially. I don't know if maybe he spawned and saw us go down there. Um... The only time that you are alerted to where people are is if you are in a certain covenant. I don't know if it does it in this one. I know it does it in Dark Souls 3 that there's a covenant that basically you wear a certain item and if um, the other person is a part of this other covenant... Hello, oh, you guys. Um, if there's another person a part of the other covenant and you're wearing a certain item then you will actually, if you are invaded... Hi, baby. Uh, please, please. Uh, yeah, our, our child is awake, so she might be popping in every now and again. <clears throat> Go play with sister. Um, but if you are a part of this other certain covenant, then... Um, see, this is where I was trying to go before I fell off. Had I, had I not fallen off and just slid straight down here, I would end up here. Um, and the shortcut that I was talking about is up here. Ah! <laughs> Found you. <laughs> no, shit. Who's that now? I don't like that you can't, like, actually see me this way. Like a weird red oh, he got me with a backstab. Bro, you literally just put your back in. You never put your back in. Right. Um, okay. He was over there. I was over here, and so how he hit me. You it's tell him. You tell him. You say, Daddy, you never turn your back to an enemy. I know what happened is, um, he saw me take the bow out and then move it away. He knew I was going to try for a parry. And so, instead of swinging, he let me think I was going to go ahead and parry him. Um, and uh, so that's what I did. Like, I basically just fell for it and, and tried to parry him. And because of that animation I was in, he, it allowed him to run around and, and hit me. Gotcha. Wait, you can get an onion helmet? Yes. Yes. That would be our other daughter. And, of course, I did not make it to unlock the shortcut because he was an asshole. Why is this door not locked? But it's okay. We we got what we needed to. We're going to head down this way and go on the normal path of progression now. So this is a prime little spot to Why farm humanity. Are they zombies too? Yeah, or just like disease infested maybe. Um, but because of the relatively quick nature in which they drop humanity, it's a really good humanity farming spot that if I really wanted to, maybe like off camera or something. Yeah, I just go I rest. Some rock in here, um, right? Um, just go rest at the bonfire, come back here, and kill them. Um, like I said, they, they do have a pretty good drop rate of humanity. So, humanity. Not souls. This is not 
the best salt farming that you can do. Um, there's a really good area later in the game that you can farm quite a few souls. I'm trying to decide which way. Okay, let's go this way. Anticipate. Thank you. Trying to attract the attention of them first. They're not really wanting to play along. Here comes one. <laughs> and then I kick its corpse for good measure. Where the hell is the channel? The what? She's over there. Come on. Uh, no, not the friend's character. Alright. Hey, buddy. Ow. I meant to dodge that. <laughs> Will you please knock that off? Oh, shit. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Step. Wait, are you talking to her or are you talking to me? <laughs> yes. Hey. What? What? Knock it off. <laughs> What was this? Uh, she was doing a little dance that was going to um, buff those rats, basically. Gotcha. Ooh, a large shard. Those will come in handy when we are upgrading the Uchi uh, up to plus 10. So honestly, there's not the biggest reason to really continue through this place. There's no real special item, but we're going to like i'm not going to i won't go out of my way to get items but i will go ahead and like fully go through most places if that makes sense so is this like castle or church neither it's just like a like a sewer system i guess it's beneath the castle ow we you stop breaking your wrists These guys have a pretty decent drop rate of um, upgrade materials. If I really wanted to farm them, I could get Titanites. Nope. <laughs> Just cannonballed right into <laughs> it. I like how that frog's like, hello! <laughs> we have come to turn you to stone. Do you acquiesce? Um, I acquiesce. Uh, what? <laughs> yes. That. I don't know how long they follow that. Pretty goddamn far. No, 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 no. no. What's bothering not that big earlier? Fuck. I might have. I might have fucked it. I might have fucked. I mean, I have that item. Yes, because you're just you run. Where are you trying to go? Now Can I'm I trying to kill you? them. Yes. Now I'm trying to kill them because I don't want them following. I have no idea where their heather spot is. But there is also a planned... Oh, you know what? He won't come because I'm not human. Damn it. There's a planned NPC invader that pops up right here. Goes by the name of Kirk. But because I am not human, he will not invade. Uh, well, I was going to think Star Trek, but yeah. Oh. <laughs> And there's my souls. Track. So now, track. Star Trek. No, just Star. like a. Okay. All right. So now let's go ahead and go actually unlock this shortcut. Oh, he did it himself. Didn't realize that. That makes sense. Duh. There would be no right way he could come down that staircase. So yes, this is the shortcut. Back to the bonfire. Hmm. In which we do have Did you quite some souls. Adrian. 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 Nope. Oh, Andre. That's yes. his name. Yes, it will be a while before we make it all the way back. I could so we're the boss. I could go back right now and get our weapon up there. It's up to you. Do you do you want to make the track? It's not incredibly long, but we could go all the way back to him now and go ahead and upgrade to 
Well, what are we getting? What are we headed toward right now? We're headed toward a boss, a boss. right? Yes, that's so going to be one of their next stronger things. weapon would, make would sense, be right? very useful. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to Thor the blacksmith and All right. get our sword upgraded. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. It's going to be a little while. It's it's a bit of a walk. However, I am not going to rest at any other bonfire because um, having rested at this one last, once I get to him and do the upgrade, I'll be able to use a Homeward Bone item, which takes you back to the last bonfire rest of so We won't have to make a return trek. But like I said, it is still a bit of a walk. Fortunately, there's not very many difficult things in between us. Sir. Fuck. Hello. And the butcher bitches do not respond, so. You coming? Nope, you're stuck. Okay. Yeah, butcher bitches don't respond. The butcher bitches. It seems like there's a badass, like, cook off team. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, come at you. World War Z stuff. God damn it. You just got your ass kicked by a dog. Well, because he got stuck, so I was like, okay, I'm just not gonna deal with it, but. Or, you know what? No, he, he's probably not the one that got stuck. It's fine, we didn't make it very far, at least. It's not like, you know, we died, you know, past the halfway point back. No, let's just not die before we get to our souls, because that's 14,000 souls that were there. Which, you know, I've lost more than that, but... Ooh, he gave me a humanity. Um, I've lost more than thoughts. Yes, especially the certain ones. Those are, well, I don't know. We're already about the. Uh, takes about 4k to get a get a level. Um, this one you typically, uh, I would say this one's probably the one where you end the game at the lowest level, unless you just sit there and grind. Um, Dark Souls 2 is definitely you end. Uh, you end pretty high level. Um, Usually around one level 140 to 160. Uh, this one, you probably will end like around level 80 or 90. Um, and then Dark Souls 3, typically, typically level 120. Um, that's that's what's called the meta for the game, basically meaning like people that do PvP all mostly agree to uh, get to level 120 and stop. It's possible to go a little bit further, but by the time you beat the main game and it's two DLCs, but level 120 is pretty good. Pretty good little spot for Dark Souls 3. Yeah, fuck that tape. Fuck that. All right, this is going a little bit better. I don't know why I, I R1 there, but like I said it is a bit of a trek, so I'm going to be sitting here running back for a minute. Um, it's not too long, honestly. I mean, there are longer treks that we could be making. I just have to make sure I'm going to the right shortcuts. Um, oh, anyway, you, you did see me pick up something called the Ring of the Evil Eye a little while ago. Uh, so that is a pretty nifty ring. Um, it's not a like long-term ring, but for now it's pretty cool because I don't have anything else to wear. It is a ring that gives me... Yes, but you can wear two of uh, Four and both Dark Souls 2 and 3, you're going to wear four. Um, you got ten fingers. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, I guess they're like, well, well, you'd be a little too overpowered, calm down. Um, you'd be like someone, and you'd be like three on one finger. <laughs> oh, hello. But, um, that ring 
if you look at my health after I kill somebody, it, it kind of boops a little bit. Watch. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. Basically, anytime you kill somebody, you get a very small percentage of your health back when wearing that ring. That something drain. Life drain? Mm, that's Pokemon move. Oh. Like absorb? <laughs> And of course, the mage guys are all back here now. Um, but we're not resting, we're just continuing on. And see, now they're gone. Uh, just for grins and giggles, let's actually pop down here and see if Homeboy, that I'm pretty sure we freed, is down here. Because he doesn't always just, like, stay here. Yeah, there he is. Like I said, we could do, do it. or we just bitch kick him, or we could do his full storyline. You have a full storyline? Yes. And that is what? Why would I spoil the storyline? Like, what does it start off like? What are we supposed to go do? It's already like been started. I started it by freeing him. Uh, oh. Do we get something at the end of the storyline? Yes, the ring that I would get if I bitch kick him off the mountain right now. Oh. Bitch kick him off the mountain. You don't want to see his story. But, uh, I mean, when do we do cool things on Pedrack? Yes. Well, okay. his story, his story it's, about, it's about halfway through the game that his story really comes to fruition. Is he someone of any importance? Mm -hmm. Yes and no, he's just a... He's just James Lannister. He's just a golden asshole. James Lannister. Yeah, yeah, golden asshole. I'm gonna leave my perfectly good relationship with Brienne to go back to my fucking mental sister and then die with her. Yeah. Fuck that final season. Season 8. Is that season 8? Pretty sure it's season 8. Yeah. So. I think the potential is to be so good. It's alright, because hopefully uh, The Witcher won't have fail us for another high fantasy. Ah, <laughs> in in the terms of it being a high fantasy um, series based on books, almost back, almost back. Oh, copyright! <laughs> Andre. Actually, I said that. I don't think we're going to be able to uh, improve it anyway. We don't have any large shards. I think we just made a... Uh, I mean, it's not a wasted trip, because I'm going to give it to him. And I should still be able to get it to at least plus six, but... Uh, yes, yes it is. I guess. My Boom. Yeah, plus six. And now... And now... It does require us... Where is it? Yeah, requires large charts. So it's at least plus six. We, we did improve it by at least one. It's like waiting to get to the grocery store before you realize you left the wallet at home. It's okay. Like I said, it wasn't a wasted trip. We did improve it. Um, it, only, it didn't even take us ten minutes. We're fine. And now we're going to use this... Takes us back here. Right. Oh wait, we can we can travel there? No, I used a homeward bone. It's an item that uh, returns you to the last month. and that's mm -hmm. why I said we're not gonna rest because we're. We, I knew we were gonna just do this. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Here's the thing. There is an NPC summon we can do for this next fight. Do we want to go ahead and summon him, or do we want to take on the fight alone? Because if we want to summon him, I do need to become human again. Let's try it once by ourselves. Alright. Either way, we are going to level up because we do have quite a bit of souls. Let's come in. One, two, two. One, two, two. Uh, let's stick them on in here. And I could honestly probably get that last, what is that, 800 souls? Mm -hmm. Pretty quickly. Just to get one more level, get the endurance up to 20. Mm -hmm. 
Will you stop it? You're going to get this song co or this video copyrighted, and then nobody can watch it. Never I'm mind. Not that good. Never mind. It, it, there's only. It only gives you 60 souls. Uh, I am not gonna waste time. You know what? That's actually a good thing. So uh, there's a. There's a gentleman over here that I want to buy some. What's up, buddy? Hi, Shemai. I'm Donald of Zena. I'm just a Donald of Zena? Yes. I adore trinkets and oddities, so I trade for them. Hi. What goes? The bottomless box. <laughs> hmm. Well, I'm certain we will make a good trade eventually. So, I am willing so this guy, he becomes pretty important. Not pretty important, but he does become a little bit more important later. He does start selling boss armor. Basically meaning like some bosses they do, you know, you can't have the ability to come purchase. Obviously the humanoid like bosses, you can come and purchase their armor from him. And obviously some of the best armor in the game. Like Right. I'm just exploring, doing what I said I wouldn't do necessarily, and that is yeah, go go pick up all of the items. Uh, there's something I, I'm missing. There is something I'm missing. Where is it? Something actually pretty important. Maybe, maybe not? Is it back here? I could have sworn there was another channel there. Maybe there was just the one that I beat. Yeah. Well, because up there was a channeler, right? That was where the channeler was with the rats. I thought there was a second, but I guess not. Um, maybe I'm just getting this confused with Daughters of Ashmod. Um, but that channeler, if not taken care of, will buff the boss while you're fighting the boss, making the boss even harder. It's not... This is the boss area? Yes, this is. Um, it's not like the hardest boss fight, but it's definitely not an easy boss fight. Uh, I mean... Nah. We already have fought the tourist team. No, we also fought the tourist team. There's the second boss on the bridge that I get plunge in his face. Right. No. Yeah. Okay. Right. Here you go. Pay attention to this. I forgot to record something. It's okay. Pay attention to this. It's a set. give you the gaping dragon. The gaping dragon? Oh, that looks like a, um... supposed to do. He is meant to be. That's why I said I look forward to your reaction to this boss specifically. I will 
woke up in a cold sweat. My mom is dead. <laughs> All right, this is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Don't you fucking dare! Okay. That's I think we are so close to beating you. Don't you dare! Well, you have to remember, I did have it coded in my hand. But no, it's, it's just a gameplay thing. Right? There we go. Whoa! Ah, his vomit! Ew. <laughs> Gross. That wasn't too bad. Normally I do summon, um, just because I like summoning them. It was uh, Sunlight Bro, uh, who, who comes and helps us fight this boss. Sunlight Bro. Yeah. And his grossly incandescentness. Should we equip that? It's up to you. It's pretty good armor. Slightly heavier. What does that mean? Can't run as fast? Mm -hmm. Uh, there's thresholds. Oh, well, we can try it. Yeah, I'm still mid rolling. Your threshold is there. It's fast roll, mid roll, fat roll. Fat roll is like you roll and you can't stand You up. pretty much just like... <laughs> 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 and then you're like, help, 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 can't get up. I mean, no matter how you slice it, in this one, your rolls don't, like, they, they look awkward. Rolling is kind of awkward. But... General. In Dark Souls 2 and 3, especially Dark Souls 3, they're a lot more fluent. Obviously, Dark Souls 3 is just the, the graphics and everything that you can do in it. We're just, you know, upgraded to upgraded to the max. Um, let's go back and spin these souls. Um, I don't think he gave us... No, he only gave us the Blight Town Key, so... Uh, so basically, the Gaping Dragon, and I forget where you get the information from, but he was basically one of the ancient dragons... Um, that his uh, appetite became so, like, like he just had to keep eating that his body eventually mutated and turned into that. No, this is the sewer off the power plant that is mm -hmm. in, in the system. That's why the is so big. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four levels to work with. Okay, well we're going to at least put one on endurance. Uh-huh. And then, so we have three left. Yep. Maybe we bop a couple. Bowen. Dex. Charity. So, I don't, we don't need to raise anything else. No. Not for this playthrough. Okay. You can. I mean, it's entirely up to you, but you would be wasting levels. Yeah. Okay. So, another one there. And then the other one will be healthy. So, is Vitality the only one raising your health? Yes. Yeah, I was, I, I have trauma on the stairs, I have... Yeah, the ring of the eagle eye. Alright. Not even done with the full episode, we already pretty much completed all this area. I know there's a couple of items that I did go out of my way to get, but we virtually did go through everything. I could if I really wanted to remake myself human and go down there and fight that, you know, NPC invader, but meh. You did. I'm just gonna fight this whole game dead. I could. So, in order to get down here, I had to beat the gaping says, dragon. My thought says you have to use a key, and it looks like you just use brute force. <laughs> but yeah, in order to get down here, I had to defeat the gaping dragon. And this is what most people consider to be the worst area. In the entire game. Because it's dark. There's nope. There's a giant spider. Yes, yes. How did you talk about the spider? You uh, can see all of the freaking spider web. <laughs> uh, yes, it's falling apart. Yes, there's a spider. But it's also uh, bullshit poison galore. Well, spider. Um, it's not my least favorite area in the game. 
Um, but I definitely get why some people do consider it to be their least favorite area. Come here. No. There we go. Give me that ass. And thank you for your shit. Not literally. No, that was literally their shit. <laughs> I feel like we've got like some shrines or whatever. What the hell is that? It's the same thing I just fought. I just didn't want to go too far because you can see another one back there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Give me that ass. Yes. It is by far the most effective way other than parrying everything. I mean, I could, I guess. Go high. You know, like, I can, I can, I can try to parry this motherfucker. Do I have a parry shield, actually? If I have a parry shield, that would be hella useful. I got the target shield. Oh. Oh. <laughs> uh, I feel bad for them, really. What the, what are you oh, doing? you're not dead. No. No. Uh, he's just really pissed because uh, he didn't have any coffee. Nope. 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 <laughs> and this asshole over here spitting blow darts at me. Here, buddy. I just want to talk. Oh, of course he got me. Dick. Yeah, because I don't have any of the specific... You saw me equip uh, purple moss pumps mm -hmm. when we first came in here. That cures poison. Um, what he hit me with was toxic, and it requires a different purple moss clump. You're uh, no, that's for bleed. Um... So yeah, I don't have the one to counteract Toxic right now, so... Yes, basically I'm gonna slow the... It's okay. This place isn't too bad, um... When you know how to traverse it, and like the paths to go. Um... Like, first time, yes, I can absolutely understand it. This place is a nightmare. Welcome back. Jesus, that lasts so long. Did not realize how long it lasted. We need to get to the bonfire as quickly as possible. Oh, so it wears off? Yeah, you see the meter down there? Yeah. Careful, baby. <laughs> but I'm gonna run out of Estus real quick. Mm -hmm. So. How much will we got? Not very much further. It's just up the way. This, if I remember correctly, is a oh shit. It's an oh shit. It's a um, I think. If I'm thinking of it correctly. I think it's a better katana-based weapon. So let's see if we can make the jump. Mm. We can. Surprising, because yours would not be good. Yes. Jumping. It's the Iato. We'll look at that in a moment. Let's get over to the death. Let's get over to the death. I mean, you already knew that you were dying, and so you were like, tired of being poisoned, I'm just gonna jump, and make it quick. Come 
It's okay. We should be able to make it this time. Oh, man, I guess we can check out that Yahoo real quick. Pretty sure it is a just pure upgrade over it. I'm obviously at right now because our Uchi is already plus six. I was gonna say that that that's 144 to 88 is not seen. We can see. Yeah, I mean, right now it does. Obviously, it's much weaker. But uh, if we get it upgraded, there's also a better. Uh, what I think is probably one of the better Dex weapons coming up down here. Um, in this area, we're not going to get it today, but um, it's a weapon called the Server. It's a Dex-ish. I mean, it's mostly, it, it does scale hard with Dex, but it does have some um, uh, strength scaling. So it'll be one of those things of like, do we do we go ahead and use it or not? I'll leave it up to you, because that means we're going to have to level up strength a little bit, I think. Well, maybe not too high. Well, you know, that's why we'll leave it up to, uh, up to your decision. I don't, I don't know what happened unless, did I get the bleed, the bleed proc on it? Might have bled, because there's no way that plunge and then one slash killed it. Come here. Nope. Right in the dick. These guys used to terrify the shit out of me, honestly. Um, my first playthrough of these. Because I wasn't good at parrying. Wasn't really good at the game. Uh, <laughs> Um, but I wasn't good at parrying, I had no idea what to do, I just knew they hit hard as fuck, and... No, 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 okay. Oh, this is going really bad very quickly. Okay, back to two random. Yeah. <laughs> Where are all of them coming from? What the hell? <laughs> they did not do this bullshit last time. All right, let's 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 reset this encounter. Follow me, boys. Yeah, sometimes the hitboxes of these games get weird. I've been noticing that in Neo, for anybody watching my Neo playthrough with uh, the most recent boss, like Eno Enma or some shit like that, uh, there's plenty of times during our boss fight that I would get upset because my weapon would literally go right through her. That boss fight was a pain in the ass. Bat girl. No, 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 fuck you. Okay. I still think the best thing to do is go ahead and go get to the bonfire just in case I completely fuck it and die again. And... The bonfire should be just up the way. Yes. Hello. Let's not fucking die this time. Made it. All right. 
Do we have any? We got one. It's not gonna be enough to get us two levels. So I think we're at like five k. Yeah, maybe. Nope, next one. We're at seven k per level. God damn. That was like the most unenthused sexual <laughs> sound thing. <laughs> yeah, right there. Um, Where is this spider? She's the boss of this area, oh, chill. Shit. Uh, oh, wait, um, is this the one where I watched you one time play and I said something about Lord of the Rings? Probably. Uh, with, with she, she was? She, I think that's her name. In here or in Lord of the Rings? No, in Lord of the Rings. Uh, how how much do we care about exploring every nook and cranny and getting these items? All right, fair enough. I mean, there are I think because eh, well, there's a spot where I can get some like uh, a new set of armor. Um, it's not necessarily better than what we're wearing. It's just uh, um, it's uh, a ninja outfit. That's what I was trying to think of. I love that I can just stop him in the hair. No. <laughs> right up the butthole. Cornhole by my katana. Um, there's also a firekeeper soul in the area. That's that we not want a spider. Get. That's not the boss. Oh, you dick. Right. You're up above and I can't. I, I, I don't know how to get to you right now. Uh, it's somewhere around here to get up to him. I know there's ladders like all around here, but it's fine. It's fine. I don't want to get toxic, but <clears throat> hmm. I need to figure out. I don't want to get toxins, but I also don't want to waste much time trying to remember which freaking ladder gets me over to him. Oh, hey, buddy. Bye. You coming? Um... We might go no, ahead. You know what they remind me of? That one weird big lip character thing. One Titan AE. I don't I don't remember to what you refer. He's on he's one of the he's on the ship with them. And he ends up being the only other person who's the bad guy. Like he's been on it with the captain. I think it's just been way too long since I've watched that either. Um, this episode might go a little bit longer than an hour because I do want to make it to the next bonfire. Bitch. Oh, give me the other one, the blooming purple moss. But is there, there's a bonfire before we get to the spider? Yes. Because I feel like getting that's, to the That's, that's sure. No, heck no. She will be next episode. Uh, I don't think I have. Look at that giant squid in No, I don't want to use those. I do have some of these, though. And I do have a heavy crossbow. gonna sit here and cheese this guy because it's a pain in the dick if you try to go down there and fight it. Hey, 
Oh, hi. Hello, man. Uh, I'm sorry, am I shooting your pet? Dick. I don't know, some kind of spider hentai monster. Oh, I'm out of arrows. Psych, I got more, bitch. Not much shit. Can you get more fireballs? Yes. Well, no, because we killed the guy that's all. Because I wanted the Uchi. Oh, that guy. I wanted to be a weeb. Yeah, but it's all uh, speaking of. I do have these. Yeet. Yeet. If I can't kill I him. I highly doubt that you're throwing with enough force to penetrate the skin of this giant creature. Don't, don't question it. Just go with it. Unless I can't. Skin, unless this creature has skin if I can't kill it, at least get it to where. At least get to where. What do you do with the poop pie? You can throw them and it poisons people. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not gonna walk far enough, I might. Oh, we did! Nice. How did... Oh, there's a ladder right here. Like, how did that motherfucker get up to me? I also cannot remember. Oh, right. Dude. I cannot remember the exact path of getting to the ninja armor. Hi, you dick. But it's not important. It's it's not really an armor set that's like super great or anything. It's literally just a ninja outfit. <laughs> I I tried to parry too early. Nope, now I am. All right. Dude. I stood up. There was nothing I could do. I literally stood up and fell. Um, okay, so, yeah, we're not making it to the next bonfire. This is going to be where we end the episode. Never like ending a Souls-like playthroughs off on a death, but oh well. Um, so, yeah, if you like today's episode, be sure to do all of the things that YouTubers ask you to do. And of course, as always, check out my Weiss YouTube channel. You can find me over at Ashley Lynn. The channel is linked in the description below. I do all sorts of fun DIYs and, and things like that. And book stuff. And book stuff. And random things. So be sure to check it out. And until next time, game, game on. on.